I'm Richard Prager. I am the project director for the Michigan Society of Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgeons Quality Initiative that includes all the adult sites of cardiac surgery in the state of Michigan. This quality initiative is a little bit different in that this is run through a professional society, the Michigan Society of Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgeons, that was already existing and has existed since 1965 in the state of Michigan. And we actually started a quality initiative five or six years before uh, we became partially funded and incentivized, if you will, by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Clearly, the goals are to improve and then maintain the highest standards and quality of care in cardiac surgery or for our cardiac surgery patients in the state of Michigan. All of us that are participating in this group have learned over the last several years because we have become one of the models, frankly, for the country. This is a stepwise approach. It doesn't happen instantly. Um, having said that, though, if you have a background of collegiality, and you go about this in a way that it's not punitive, you are trying to raise the bar for everyone, you have a very good chance to succeed. And what, su what being successful means is having patients do better. Specifics of what we do is we look at our data. So we submit data to the national uh, database, which is the Society of Thoracic Surgeons National Database, submitted quarterly. At the same time, those data are submitted to our own warehouse, which happens to be based in Ann Arbor. And we, if you will, drill or look at these data and see where each hospital is performing and areas around the state that are superb and what we can learn from certain other institutions about what they do, for example, with blood conservation. Hospital X uses half of the blood that Hospital Y uses. What are they doing? What systems do they have in place? what triggers for blood transfusions, what do they do when they're on the heart-lung machine, these types of approaches. And so we steal shamelessly and share graciously. And that really is what we do. So we'll look at the very high-performing institutions and ask them what they're doing for blood conservation, for you know, taking the patient off the ventilator early after an operation, for using the internal mammary artery, for preventing renal failure, for lower rates of stroke. I can go on and on and on, but that's exactly what we do. In certain scenarios, such as we looked at internal mammary artery use, which is one type of bypass that we do, and we had some hospitals in Michigan that weren't using it as much as other hospitals. So we provided education, we looked at why they weren't using it, they had to submit forms, and now we have all those hospitals up above the STS average. So we've made improvements on what's called prolonged ventilation, so having people on the ventilator when it's appropriate, less time. We use a great deal less blood in the state of Michigan than we did two years ago. We use more internal mammary arteries. And so those are quick and easy examples of what a collaborative can do in sharing approaches and practices and then bring other people to look at it and say, I could do this too, and this will help my patients.